Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today is what sold on eBay for June 22nd through the 28th. I just finished uh, a live stream with Star from the Flippin' Hippo, so if you didn't catch that, go over to her channel and give it a watch. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show you, um, I got this Snoopy and he has a terrible stain. You can see that right there. You can even see it in the camera. It's a bad stain. And I wanted to show you how I was making. Well, sometimes that can be a bonehead. If you look right here, the stain matches this spot. So it's really not a stain. It's just <laughs> the spot showing through. And yeah, I kind of washed them like two times. Maybe three. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes I'm a bonehead and make some mistakes all right let's get right into the video and I'll show you how I did this week let's get right into it all right for June 22nd through the 28th uh, my total sales were two thousand one hundred and fifty two dollars and sixty cents which is 0.9 percent down from last week uh, net sales 13 30 41 cents so not bad it beat my goal of 2,000. I always like to have a... Uh, my goal normally is 2,000 a week. So I'm slightly above it. Hopefully I can stay that way. Uh, the sales the last 31 days. I am down 17.4%. You can see uh, summer slowdown slowly creeping upon us. Um, but still from last year, I am 72.1% up from the same period last year. So I'm still doing better than I did last year as I was listing a bunch more this year. Alright, let's get into the collectibles. The first one is a Funko Pop Star Wars movie moments. Dagobah face-off. Luke Skywalker. Uh, these were in the mystery boxes that I did in on an unboxing on my channel. Um, so far I've sold one of them and I have one left. I sold it for $26.99. The next one is a Fortnite Battle Royale. This one I got at GameStop. I believe these were $3 if I'm not mistaken. Just a little Fortnite characters. Cool little collectible. Uh, sold for $17.09. Fortnite's hot, so if you find any plush or anything like that, pick it up for sure. Uh, this is a Ratchet & Clank uh, pen. Had these for a long time. Got these from Loot Crate a while back. I think I got them really super cheap. I think I got them from the Loot Vault, which went like 90% off. Anyways, uh, three sold so far for $9.89. So not a great profit, but hey, at least it's selling something. This one is a great profit. This is a Star Wars Yoda with lightsaber. Got these off Kohl's website. They were on a super clearance, and then you get all that Kohl's cash nonsense and all that. Um, I've sold probably close to 30 of these. I've I had a bunch. I bought I got maybe man I don't remember how many I bought. I believe I bought like a 40. So I guess I've sold well it's two left. <laughs> so I guess I've sold like 38 of them. So yeah, this is this was a great great buy they were on super clearance and i'm getting 67.49 for them i believe they ship around 15 dollars so it's it's a great profit margin i love uh cross stitch and patterns when um, i can get them real inexpensive this is a cushion collection nothing special it had all the yarn and everything in there um, this one sold for $22.49. I don't think I paid more than like 50 cents or a dollar for it. Uh, Shopkins, Shopettes. Showed these before. This was a huge uh, clearance sale at Target. Bought a bunch of these guys. Um, this was the last one. And the set of two sold for $17.99. They're a little, um, I think they have smell to them and stuff. But they're fluffy and whatever. <laughs> Uh, this is a Funko Pop uh, Johnny Rico. Got these at a good clearance on GameStop. Uh, the last person that bought them bought eight of them, so I sold them for ten bucks a piece, just to clear out some space because I had a bunch of pops that I knew I was coming in. 
Uh, if you didn't see my huge uh, GameStop unboxing, check that out. You can see I, I had a bunch of pops coming. So I was glad when someone gave me an offer for eight of them for $10 each just to get rid of and make some room on my shelves. So what's next? Uh, this is Assassin's Creed, a lot of three. Uh, these were also a GameStop clearance. I don't remember if I paid 50 cents or a quarter for them. I know I spoke to the uh, person uh, behind the counter. It was a GameStop manager and they wanted to get rid of them because they were just uh, piled up in the corner. I'm like, hey, what can you get me? Uh, give me a deal if I buy them all. And they, they gave me a deal. I believe I wound up paying like 50 cents each for them. So not too bad. Uh, set of three is going for fifteen twenty nine, so I have about dollar fifty into them. So not bad. These are Neon Genesis uh, coaster set coasters. I don't know why they are selling very well. I sold out of all my Power Ranger ones, and now these are selling. I also sold some. Uh, they were Harry Potter coasters. So yeah, I guess people are protecting their <laughs> tables. Uh, anyways, like I said, this set's crazy. I would never think to get $17.99. Good thing I looked up the comps, but yeah, I got $17.99 for a set of three coasters, which is crazy. Uh, this is Attack on Titans. I believe I got these out of a Loot Crate uh, box. Put just a set of uh, two in here. They're just collectible mystery figures for Attack on Titan, and I'm getting... Thirteen forty-nine for them. I actually have a few more. I don't know why it doesn't say a quantity there. So I guess I better check to see if I only if I messed up and didn't put a quantity on them. Uh, this is SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, this is one of the a big nice book. And let's see if I can get a picture of it. Mm, there, there you go. You can see there's like drawings and different things. This thing's heavy. This weighed like four pounds. So I'm glad I went media mail. But he sold for $35.99, so very, very good uh, profit on that one. Uh, this is a Loot Crate Alien Pencil Sharpener. These are selling very well, too. I've sold six for so far at $26.99 each. I've shown you these a few times. You sharpen uh, the pencil in his mouth, and people are loving them. So if I can keep finding them, I'll keep throwing them up. Um, Nintendo Mario Kart collectible, collapsible <laughs> car shade. Uh, not sure where I got these. Were these Loot Crate too? Yeah, Loot Crate, Loot Gaming. Um, I believe I bought these off of Loot Vault again for nice clearance. Sold seven so far. I still have eleven available. Uh, these I got off of GameStop. They're ten dollar figure clearance. It's a nice figure of Green Lantern. Wish Green Lantern was a little bit more popular, but hey, they're, they're still selling. <laughs> uh, sold the last one for forty forty nine. Oh, actually, I sold uh, the last two for forty forty nine. These are Loot Crate branded metal reusable straws. They Loot Crate's been throwing these straws in almost every box. I guess they need something to fill it up and. Well, they're working for me. I'm selling them in lots of two. I give uh, four straws per person. Uh, the last person bought eight of them, so uh, that was great. Got 809. I mean, not great profit, but hey, not bad for just a toss in. This is a Ghostbusters Proton Pack replica. This one's very brittle. I actually broke the first one. <laughs> this part like, came off, so um, I'll have to disclose that when I list the last one. Um, I'll probably just super glue it and just say that it was repaired or something. But anyways, um, these are selling for $26.99. Two have sold so far. Uh, these are the Funko Deadpool luggage tags. I didn't know what to do with these guys. Um, they were going for like a couple dollars. So I decided just to um, throw them in a lot of three because I had three. And they finally sold for $13.49, so I was happy that they were out of my hair. <laughs> uh, Back to the Future, this is a toiletry bag. I thought it was a lunch bag, but it's a toiletry bag. It didn't have any of the 
the stuff to keep anything cold, like the metallic or anything like that. So it's just a toiletry bag, but it has a flux capacitor on it. It was pretty cool. I still have one or maybe two left, but they're going for $17.99. Uh, Beyblade, I just got these listed maybe three, four days ago. Um, they were in my huge GameStop haul. They were in that blind box. Anyways, I uh, had eight of them. Four sold so far. Um, two sold at the $19.99 price and two sold at the $17.99 price. Now on to the plush. This is uh, Disney Kanga Unru from Winnie the Pooh. Kangaroo, of course. <laughs> uh, has the authentic patch on the foot. If you can see, there's the little baby Roo. Um, there's the authentic patch. Always look for that. If you find that, it's always worth uh, a lot more money than just the basic uh, Disney Store plush. Uh, this one sold for $26.99. And uh, of course, I got all these at the bins. Uh, there's a Build-A-Bear Beagle Tricolor. It has beans in them, so it's a bean bag too. You see, it has like a pleather nose or the faux leather nose. Cool little dog. <laughs> you can see up his nose. Uh, there's the Builder Bear and then the classic heart. And there he is. He sold for $17.99. And he did make it under the 16 ounces. Uh, Menchie's Plus fro Frozen Yogurt. I believe it took a best offer of like $10. I had this in my store for probably a good 2-3 years. Uh, when someone offered me $10, I'm like, okay, I have a slow day in on eBay, might as well take it. Oh, he sold for $10, and he, of course, you ship free. Kermit the Frog Blue Overalls. I believe this is the third one I've had. They all sell for around $15 to $16. This one sold for $14.39 because I had the sale on him. He has a little chicky. This is the farmer version. You can see he had a little bit of stain right here. I had to get it out. Muppets and it says Kermit the Frog, Jen Henson Productions. He sold for $14.39. Flip a zoo, ask your husky. This is one of the ones that flip from husky to bear. Yeah, you just pull their heads over. <laughs> and they're they're pretty long. They're what 18 inches long? There you go. It says flip a zoo. He sold for, it was pretty big. He sold for $16.19. Uh, Disney Mickey Mouse Memories. I have a ton of these guys. I probably had a good 50 when I started. I bought a bunch of these at the Disney store. Hoping they'd go up in value, but they didn't. I paid about, I'd say, 25 for each of them. So, yeah, I'm making nothing. So, this is basically um, a break even right now. Um, so two of them for $29.69. I used to sell them for 40 So I made a little bit of money at one point. But yeah, they're, they've really gone down in price. They were started to be oversaturated at one time. So yeah, it happens. <laughs> this one too, um, same thing. Paid about 25 for them. Got a few sold at 50 and uh, 40 but then they, July especially, got oversaturated. So I've been dropping my price just to get my money back. Uh, six sold so far. Actually, maybe like 26 have sold so far uh, for $26.99. This is a Matthew Fox Antic Brown Fleagle Beagle. And <laughs> that's a mouthful. Uh, one paw is missing the felt covering. So yeah. Oh yeah, you can see right there the felt on the bottom of his paws. But Matthew Fox is a decent brand, so I put them up pretty decent. 1981. He sold for 16.19, so not not great, but not horrible. Uh, this is a cool little warthog from I believe Kelly Toy, or is it Sugarloaf? Anyways, you can see he has a really cool design. Yeah, it's Sugarloaf. A really cool design for a Sugarloaf toy. Surprised they rarely make good uh, looking toys. Anyways, this one sold for $19.79. Another kangaroo and joey. If you've been watching my channel, you know how I love the Australian animals uh, lately. Um, 
everything Australian still is selling pretty well. I, as soon as I get them, I put them up. This is from Mink Plush, so that's a very good brand. Uh, sold for $22.49. Uh, this is little, well, not little Hello Kitty. It's a 12-inch uh, cupcake Hello Kitty. Uh, Hello Kitty um, sells well, but it doesn't sell for a ton of money. So, especially the ties where those are oversaturated for sure. Uh, she sold for $13.49. Eric Cartman, uh, South Park does sell very well. This is one of the older ones where um, it's like two pounds, so he's a very heavy one. Uh, you see right here, <laughs> he's very angry. He's got the angry face. He's hilarious. Uh, he's missing the black part. That plastic stuff always comes off of those old ones. If you get him exposed to any heat or any sunlight at all, they just come right off. Anyways, um, he sold for nineteen seventy nine. So I think if I paid uh, seven dollars to ship him, seven or eight. This is a Thai Beanie Buddies Amber Kitty Cat. Um, this guy bought this one, and he bought another Thai one. He bought this one, which is a horrible picture. I don't know why I let that go. <laughs> and that's one of my newer pictures too. That's a bad, ugly picture. It's just drawn out. Should have put him in the, a blue or some different background. Anyways, um, he bought both of them, and that one sold for ten seventy nine, and this one sold for seventeen ninety nine. He bought them for both for full price. Uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy has a "I Love You" heart on her chest. Um, not a vintage Aunt Raggedy Ann. It's just it's one of the newer ones. There's the "I Love You" on the chest. But it's still sold for thirteen forty nine with my ten percent off. So, not bad. She's very thin, so it was like eight ounces to ship her. Uh, Jurassic World, all the Jurassic World dinosaur, all those plus you have to keep an eye out for. Um, they sell very well, and they sell for a decent amount of money. This one sold for seventeen ninety nine. You can see um, the marking right there had the tag. He wasn't very tall. You can see right here, he's what eight inches tall. You go straight across. So yeah, even the smaller ones do sell very well. It did help that he had great colors. And he sold for $17.99. Five Nights at Freddy. Love my Five Nights at Freddy. I've made so much money on them. Found this at the Goodwill bins. Maybe paid a quarter for it. Quarter, 50 cents. Had the plastic eyes. <laughs> it looks hilarious. Um, has lipstick on him for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Um, anyways, it sold for, or he or she, or whatever it is, sold for $35.99. This is my last monkey, makes a realistic sound. I told you before on one of my previous videos that I got a negative because uh, someone complained that their grandchild got scared from the sound. <laughs> so they sent me a negative. I don't know if I took it off or not. I don't think, I think it's still there. Anyways, um, all 10 have sold so far. Oh, it's not so far. All 10 have sold for $15.29. All the way up to $16.99. All right, Baby Giraffe, white and brown. This is a sweet bunch from Kids Preferred. Kids Preferred's okay brand. Nothing special on the Kids Preferred. You can see on her foot it has sweet bunch. There it is. And there's a Kids Preferred tag if you're interested in getting some of those. Um, this one sold for $15.29. Another South Park character. This one's actually uh, very lightweight. He's uh, one of the newer models. You can tell the difference because the the heavy ones are the real vintage ones. If they weigh like, if you can feel that they weigh like two pounds, those are the vintage ones. Um, this one maybe weighs like eight ounces. So you can you can tell the difference right away as soon as you pick them up, which one's vintage and which one isn't. Uh, this one sold for $17.99. This is a, just a little pug, pug dog from Gans Webkins. Webkins go up and down. I mean, some will sell for 11 some will sell for 20 You never know. It just depends on the character. I believe this one sold for, what, $13? He had a little damage on his nose, too. So he sold for $13.49. But he shipped under, I think he shipped for like four ounces, so like three dollars. 
Um, this sadly is the end of my uh, Olaf cuddle pillows. I believe when I started I had close to 50 of these guys. I bought out uh, three Disney stores in Vegas. It was three. Three. Two in Vegas and one in, I think it's uh, Ontario Mills or something. But yeah, they were on super clearance right after the first uh, movie. Um, so I got them super cheap. I bought them all, held on to them for a long time, and the last one finally sold. It sold for $22.49. But yeah, it was, I held on to these guys for a long time. <laughs> Selling one or two a month and just to get my money back. <laughs> Uh, this tiny beanie baby Christmas candy cane unicorn. This was a big unicorn. It went priority. I think it cost me uh, $9 to ship. It's one of the beanie boos. I did put a bag, uh, one of those poly bags with the bubbles over its eyes. You can see right here. It has those real shiny eyes. And this one's a brand new one. So I wanted to make sure to get it to the customer without it scratching his eyes so I just put one of the poly bags over its head the bubbled poly bags and then threw it into another bag and he sold for or she I don't know what it is <laughs> sold for $35.99 uh, this is a large amazing spider-man pillow uh, spider-man I don't know why does not like me I had a bunch of them and still have a bunch of them uh, the bigger ones have sold, but the little or medium-sized ones, have, like the 8-inch ones, they do not want to sell for me, uh, even when I put them down in price. But anyways, this one sold for $19.79, for, so it's a decent price for a big Spider-Man. Rilakkuma, which is a Japan from San X. These little bears do very well. I even, I believe the last video I showed you, I sold a little tiny one for like 10 bucks. 10 or 12. Um, this one sold for, this is a bigger version, $26.99. So yeah, this one's a 17 inch one. So you want to get the bigger 17 inch one. The other one was only five inches and it's still sold for, I believe it was 10 or $11. Yeah, keep your eye out for those. Uh, this is a giant blue teddy bear. Um, when you're selling big items, try to get giant and big into them, large of course. Uh, get all those keywords in there that always helps you sell this one sold within a few days of me putting them up uh, he was easy to squish into a big bag I just rolled his head into his belly and I was in, able to squish him into I believe it was like an 18 by 18 bag maybe even smaller but yeah he sold for $35.99 uh, green crocodile crocodile or alligator Depending on what you care. <laughs> uh, what do he looks like to you? Uh, it's from Gun. Uh, oh, it does say alligator on him. Whatever. <laughs> um, he sold for $17.09 and he was from the Gun, I believe. Uh, the same person actually bought this one too. It's again Webkin's Green Turtle. So those shipped together and they actually uh, did not have to go priority. They still went first class. They made it, I believe, at 12 ounces. So this shipping was great with those two shipping together. This one went for $13.49, and the alligator went for $17.09. Uh, this is a <laughs> hilarious real talking Bubba. Uh, he was pretty heavy, ship priority. Um, had uh, I put uh, uh, one of those poly bags with the bubbles all over his face because he has those glasses that could break in the mail. Um, but anyways, I threw him in a poly bag and they paid $24.29 for him. This is a baby blue curly fur plush lamb. Ah, I could fix that title. <laughs> I'm surprised it sold. Oh, that is not a good title, Robert. <laughs> anyways, um, this little sheep, he's about 13 inches long and about 10 inches high i try to do when they're like weird like shapes i try to do both um like both measurements for them this is from interdimension or inter what <laughs> inter something oh inter american products yeah uh, so it's not a great brand 
Anyways, it's still sold since it's a curly fur sheep or lamb. It sold for $17.99. So someone for sure needed a lamb. <laughs> uh, this is a Wild Republic Tiger Shark from Cuddlekins. Uh, stuff Ocean, gray and black. Real cool little shark from Wild Republic. Uh, keep your eye out for fish that are really different. Uh, some of them can go for a decent amount. I mean, he only went for twelve fifty nine, but eh, you never know. I mean, if you find like really uh, shiny ones, the shiny ones I've sold for like twenty dollars and stuff like that. Uh, different colored, real bright colors will sell a lot more. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Um, I did get my Goodwill blue boxes. Uh, they're called blue boxes. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Otherwise, I got a lot of 10 of those. I'll be doing my opening. I'll probably drop that video on Friday, so keep an eye out for that. And please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Take care. Catch you on Friday. Bye.